Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can run code in Visual Studio Code. Now I will show you how to run it for Python, but you can use the same method to run, run files of PHP, C++, JavaScript, Node or any other file that you have. So first open Visual Studio Code. Now open the file or open the project that you want to run. So I have this main.py and it just contains a hello world message, right? So as you can see, Visual Studio Code automatically showed me this pop-up that says we want to install the recommended Python extension. So if you don't have the extension installed for your specific language, be it C, C++, PHP, JavaScript, or any other language, Visual Studio Code will show you this pop-up. So just click on install. And if you don't see this pop-up, chances are that you already have the extension installed. Or if it is not, you can just click on this icon here and the extensions bar will open and then search for Python. Here, as you can see, I see the official extension from Microsoft and I can install this. And there are a lot of other extensions here too. If you are confused, make sure it is from Microsoft or any other trusted publisher and it has this blue check mark right next to it. So once the extension is installed, you can go back to your code file and here on the top right, you will see this run button. Now, if you're not seeing this run button, it might be because the compiler or interpreter for your programming language is not installed. So if you are running, let's say PHP, you will need to install two things, a compiler and then the extension. If you're trying to run Python, you need to install Python's interpreter and then the extension. Similarly, if you want to run C or C++, you need to install C, C++ compiler first and then the extension inside Visual Studio Code. Now the compiler and the interpreter are independent of Visual Studio Code. You need to install it on your system. Once you have the compiler and the extension installed, just click the run button and you will be able to run your code. Again, in some cases, you might have to choose which version of Python interpreter or compiler to use. So as you can see, I'm being shown select interpreter. In your case, you might be shown select compiler or something else. Just click on this and then choose a specific version of compiler or interpreter for your specific language. So now you have the version code here and the run button here. Now you can run any file by just clicking on this run button. So this is the easy way. Now, if you want more freedom, what you can do is open terminal and the terminal will be opened inside your project folder. Here, as you can see, the terminal is open in this directory. Now you can run your code by just executing your code's file. So I want to run main.py. So I'll write Python main.py, hit enter. If you are on C, PHP or something else, just enter the command to run the file. So this is a bit more advanced. If you just want to run it, you can just click on this run button. If you want to learn how to set up Visual Studio Code for your specific programming language like PHP, C or C++ or JavaScript or Node, check the links in the description below. I have tutorials on how to set up VS Code for each specific language. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.